Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for this trailer reaction video to the Halo Infinite campaign overview. I'm looking forward to this. It's about a six and a half minute look, so we're going to check it out together. It is October 25th, 2021. And yeah, let's see how much this has improved since the last time Microsoft went deep into what the campaign's looking like for Halo Infinite. Hoping for the best. Since the beginning, Halo was about Master Chief and Cortana, partners protecting humanity. But that is now a distant memory. Humanity is fighting for survival. The Banished have risen, defeated our heroes, and taken control of the mysterious Zeta Halo. We need a savior. We need hope. We need Spartan 117, Master Chief. The music. We have a new mission, soldier. What is he? What's down there? A weapon. A weapon? How many guns do you need? All of them. Looks nice. In the biggest campaign to date, Halo Infinite invites players to become Master Chief and discover true Spartan freedom in the most wide open and adventure filled Halo experience yet. But Chief won't be alone on the journey. His first mission is to retrieve a new AI codenamed The Weapon. It's been six months, where have you been? Following the events of Halo 5, Master Chief is searching for the answer to a troubling question. What happened to Cortana? I was created to lock down Cortana, but I don't know why. What did she do that was so wrong? Order received, stand by. You know, it's good that the game got delayed a year because it's more fitting that we're now going to have it is somewhere on Zeta Halo. to a celebrate the 20th anniversary of, of the series. Mystery and danger. Yeah, it would have been nice to have as an Xbox Series S and X launch title. And at every turn, the Banished are hunting Master Chief and the remnants of the UNSC. But the system was so we will meet the low in quantity the as to army how many people across the surface, wanted to purchase it, you know. Fearsome Stock just hasn't been and outposts where Microsoft no one probably to stop them. wanted it in the last 11 months. So, Until now. even if it's sold at a good ratio to console owners, not a lot of console owners at launch. And in the last 11 months, it's definitely grown up. And with the stock finally the being the better saga, now, Master Chief has been a hero, ready to fight and win against impossible It's almost like odds. a soft second Chief? launch, you know, you? for the Xbox Meaning Xbox Series and PlayStation 5, you know. This holiday season is kind of going to be like a second launch. It'll probably be bigger in what terms of overall friend? sales, you know. It isn't. The Xbox Series X didn't suffer from not having this game launch. It still had Game Pass all for it. Players now have more freedom than but ever before good. to take down the Banished any way they choose. Banished facility up ahead, Chief. Some the world's kind of big. The draw operation. distance is impressive. It's clear. What do we do? Shut it down. Permanently. A lot of good textures. We're also watching this on YouTube. 4K, but then it's gonna be playing it on disc or you know, digital download, experiencing it on your Xbox and Series X, on your 4K OLED TV, or whatever you have. I'm looking forward to the final comparisons between, you know, base Xbox One and the highest end Xbox and Series X of what this game is going to look like. Do you see that? 
could be useful if you like that kind of thing. Oh, I like it. It also gives me some hope for Halo Infinite allows us Halo all 7. to become Master Chief, called that, doing what Spartans do best. As that one will probably be built to take exclusively down the for you know, the series piece brand by piece. and not be held this back in an any capacity fight. by Xbox One. Master Whereas Chief this will one, take on returning favorites, kind of is and surprising held back new threats like the probably. Agile Skimmers, a sadistic Spartan killer that still named looks good, Jaga you know. Urdomni. Say good boy. Look out, Chief. He looks angry. And something even more threatening. The Forerunner's lies are at an end. I am the harbinger of the troops. You are not the future. Exploring this vast and fractured world will put Spartan 117 to the ultimate test. But where there is courage, there is hope. Welcome to the new era of Halo. Now it's interesting. Technically, this is the only is portion of uh, Halo Infinite that you have like to pay for. December 8th, 2021. Pretty sweet. Uh oh. Play it day one with Game Pass. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, there's your free ticket. Well, you know, prepaid for ticket into Halo Infinite. And regardless of whether you purchase Halo Infinite on its own to experience the solo campaign, every Xbox user by default, if you have Game Pass, you're going to get the multiplayer. Multiplayer is free for all users. If you have an online account, there you go. So that's pretty big. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to both the main campaign. I want to see the story. I want to hear all of the dialogue. I want to go through an awesome world and just see how much can I do in this very open area and how much more is there to explore out there. But also, you know, with such a saturation in the market of first-person shooters that are online based and even non first person shooters uh, third person you know you know massive online 100 battle royale type titles like Fortnite it'll be interesting to see just how well does Halo Infinite and its multiplayer do because you could argue that yeah there's always been competition but now there's even more there are more titles that get cranked out some yearly some every few years there's a lot that's available out there does halo still have the name and uh, the power behind it the respect behind it i think for the most part halo still is a pretty powerful property for microsoft to have i still think it's going to do well i think nostalgia is going to be pretty deep especially as we get that you know xbox video coming up soon November 15th, here's looking back at 20 years of Halo. You know, people in their uh, late 20s, 30s, 40s that were kids to teens, early adults when they played this for the first time back in November of 2001 on the original Xbox are going to, you know, hop on it. And maybe they got into first person gaming with something like GoldenEye or Perfect Dark for Nintendo 64. And this was that next jump for them, that big jump for them. Maybe this was their first. So even if things have come along the way or franchises that maybe existed before but just got bigger along the way, like Call of Duty or you know something relatively new like Fortnite, no, nah, people still have some nostalgia for Halo. They like Master Chief. They like Cortana. They enjoy the original voice actors, the soundtrack. You know, that fact that it's a little bit different of, ex of an experience. It is alien-esque and outer-worldly and not, you know, grounded in reality necessarily, necessarily of machine guns and land combat and based around our wars and stuff. So uh, I think it holds a place. I think it's going to do well. I'm curious to see, like I said, the difference in graphical vis visual fidelity between the base model and all of the models, for that matter, of the Xbox brand of systems. And the last thing I'm curious about is just how well is it going to sell? You know, Halo's typically been 
a pretty big seller. The original, Halo 2, 3, 4. But as we get into the Game Pass model, dang, you don't need to buy the game for 60 bucks on its own. You pay your money per year for the service, and you know, there you go. But I still expect it to be a good seller. Um, I'm sure plenty of people will want to own the game permanently, forever, on disc or download. So that's uh, going to be kind of fun to watch. All right, cool trailer. Game's looking improved from the last time we saw it, or the first time we saw it especially. So let me know what you thought. Thank you for watching. That was Halo Infinite, the campaign overview. This is PGN signing out. Hope you all have a good day. Take it easy.